Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, Tabars, where ancient wisdom meets modern life. Today we embark on a thought, provoking journey, guided by the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who once said, True friendship is a plant of slow growth. But what happens when the seeds of friendship sprout thorns instead of blossoms? In our lives we cross paths with countless individuals, but only a handful become our close friends. Research indicates that out of the myriad of people we meet, we form merely five deep, meaningful friendships. This fact is astonishing, especially when reflecting on the saying, you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with. This highlights the immense impact our closest friends have on our character, decisions, and life's path. Yet not every friendship serves our growth or well-being. Some relationships, instead of nurturing us, can drain our energy and spirit. As we navigate the complex maze of social connections, it's vital to discern these negative influences. In today's episode, we'll uncover the traits of toxic friendships, identifying seven harmful characteristics that can poison these bonds. Recognizing these signs is not just about protecting our emotional well-being. It's about investing our time and energy in relationships that truly enrich our lives. Join us as we, learning to recognize and deal with toxic friendships. This journey is more than a lesson in social dynamics. It's a crucial step towards cultivating a circle of friends who genuinely support, encourage, and elevate us. Let's begin this exploration together, applying the timeless wisdom of Stoicism to our modern social lives. 1. The Gossip Monger have you ever felt the sharp pain of betrayal like a delicate glass shattered by careless hands? This is often the work of the gossip monger, a so-called friend, who, instead of guarding your secrets, scatters them like leaves in the wind. They find a twisted pleasure in wielding the power of secrets often disguised as harmless sharing, just between us. But beware, their whispers travel far, undermining the very foundation of trust that true friendship is built upon. Spotting a gossip monger isn't always straightforward. They're usually the ones stirring the pot, subtly weaving in private details that were never meant for public ears. The key to dealing with them? Be mindful of what you share and confront their behavior calmly, hoping to spark a realization of the harm they cause. In stark contrast, a genuine friend is akin to a secure vault, valuing and safeguarding your confidences. They understand the preciousness of trust and would never exchange your secrets for fleeting social gains. Their reaction to your personal stories is one of empathy and discretion, not broadcasting. The emotional damage a gossip monger can inflict varies from feelings of betrayal to a deep sense of violation. Realizing that someone close has been recklessly spreading your personal tales can instigate a profound distrust, not just towards them, but in forming new friendships. When dealing with such a person, it's wise to broaden your social circle. Having a diverse group of friends lessens the blow of one individual's betrayal. Aim to surround yourself with people who honor and respect your private life. True friendship should be a sanctuary, not a platform for gossip. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. In the context of friendship, this reminds us to cherish the trust placed in us by others, to listen more and speak less, especially when it comes to matters of confidence. True friendship, much like Stoicism, is about integrity, discretion, and the respectful handling of the trust others place in us. 2. The Manipulator In the intricate tapestry of our social lives, we often encounter a character as cunning as they are detrimental. The manipulator. This individual, akin to a master puppeteer, doesn't rely on words to weave their web, but instead uses the subtle threads of emotional influence. Imagine yourself in a perpetual state of imbalance, akin to a tightrope walker precariously balancing on the rope of their expectations. They skillfully employ guilt, obligation, and at times flattery to navigate your decisions and actions leaving you feeling like a mere character in their carefully orchestrated play. The true essence of the manipulator reveals itself when your desires collide with theirs, 
you might find yourself yielding to their demands not because you agree, but due to the overwhelming emotional pressure they exert. This can range from nuanced insinuations to blatant emotional blackmail. The antidote to this manipulation lies in recognizing these patterns and honing assertive communication skills. Engaging in assertiveness training or practicing scenarios with a trusted friend or therapist can be crucial in equipping you to hold your ground. Contrasting sharply with the manipulator is the archetype of a true friend, who engages in a harmonious dance of mutual respect and understanding. Such a friend offers advice and support without hidden agendas, cherishing your independence as much as their own. Their interactions are rooted in equality and mutual respect, where decisions are made through understanding, not manipulation. Dealing with a manipulator can be a mentally taxing journey often leading you to question your own feelings and decisions. This emotional strain underscores the importance of a robust support network. Gaining perspectives from friends outside the situation can offer a vital reality check. Extricating yourself from a manipulative friendship is not just about confrontation or creating distance, but also about redefining what you seek in friendships. It's a quest for connections that are empowering and liberating rather than confining and controlling. The transition from being manipulated to achieving autonomy is a journey towards discovering your own voice and reclaiming your power in relationships. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This wisdom resonates profoundly in our interactions, reminding us to be vigilant listeners, discerning the true intentions behind words and actions. In the modern hustle of life where relationships can be as complex as they are rewarding, this piece of stoic advice serves as a beacon, guiding us towards genuine, empowering connections and away from those that seek to undermine our autonomy and well-being. 3. The Fair Weather Friend A friend who's like a chameleon, their loyalty shifting as quickly as the weather. They're your sunshine companion basking in the glow of your successes but vanishing during your struggles. This type of friend is hard to spot in good times, as they blend into your circle mirroring your joy. But their absence becomes starkly evident in your times of need, disappearing like mist under the morning sun. The realization that their friendship is conditional can evoke feelings of betrayal and abandonment. It's a stark reminder to cherish those who stand by you in both good times and bad. True friends are those unwavering souls who walk with you through every season of life, understanding that friendship is about sharing both laughter and tears. Seneca, a renowned Stoic, once said, A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. This resonates deeply when we think about fair-weather friends. Just as a gem is shaped and refined through friction, our understanding of friendship is often honed through the challenges of discerning true friends from fair-weather ones. So how do we navigate this? It's about developing an awareness of who sticks around when the going gets tough. Invest in relationships where support is mutual and consistent. Seek out those who value the depth and breadth of friendship, understanding that true friendship endures all seasons of life. To conclude, remember, that the journey of life is not just about the destinations we reach, but also about the companions we choose to walk with. As you continue on your path, choose those who are willing to share not only your sunshine, but also your storms. This is the essence of a true, enduring friendship. 4. The Emotional Gaslighter While a manipulator might play on your feelings of guilt and obligation, the emotional gaslighter is more like a cunning architect skillfully reconstructing your reality to fit their own narrative. They don't just influence your decisions overtly. Rather, they subtly erode your trust in your own perceptions and memories, leading you into a bewildering maze of self-doubt and confusion. To spot an emotional gaslighter, pay attention to those moments when your experiences are systematically dismissed or questioned. They might counter your memories with their own versions of events or trivialize your emotions labeling them as overreactions. This is in stark contrast to a genuine friend who offers a reality check that strengthens, rather than undermines, your sense of self. Enduring this kind of psychological manipulation can leave profound and lasting scars, 
often making you feel disoriented and uncertain of your own mind. The gaslighter's influence is insidious and pervasive, unlike the more direct conflicts you might face with a manipulator. It's a challenge that's hard to identify and even harder to overcome. To combat this, grounding yourself in your own truth is vital. Keeping a personal journal can be an invaluable tool in affirming your experiences. Seeking support from trusted friends or professionals can also be crucial in rebuilding the trust in your instincts that the gaslighter has worn away. Breaking free from the clutches of an emotional gaslighter is more than just about confrontation or creating distance. It's a journey back to embracing and affirming your own reality. It involves surrounding yourself with people who respect and validate your experiences, thereby reinforcing your trust in your own perceptions. This is a crucial step in your journey towards psychological well-being. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. In the context of dealing with gaslighters, this reminds us to listen to our inner voice and trust our own experiences, even when others try to drown them out. Remember, in the journey of life, it's essential to choose companions who uplift and support your truth, for they are the ones who truly enrich your path. 5. The Purveyors of Negativity or Toxicity in the human relationships, we often cross paths with individuals who cast a shadow far more overt and pervasive than the subtle manipulations of an emotional gaslighter. These purveyors of negativity or toxicity are akin to a storm cloud in a serene sky, their presence marked by a relentless downpour of pessimism, drama, or unyielding criticism. Unlike the gaslighter, whose craft lies in warping your perception, these individuals impose their bleak outlook directly onto your experiences, leaving little room for light. Identifying these friends is typically more straightforward than unmasking a gaslighter. They are the ones whose conversations are consistently marinated in complaints, criticisms, or an endless saga of drama. Their negativity is like a contagion, leaving you emotionally drained, a stark contrast to the uplifting and encouraging nature of true friendship. These individuals seem to find solace in dragging others into their vortex of gloom, thriving in the chaos they create. The emotional cost of maintaining ties with such individuals is substantial. Regular exposure to their negativity can seed feelings of hopelessness, anxiety, and even depression, overshadowing the joy, support, and comfort that genuine friendships offer. It's essential to recognize that you are not the custodian of their issues. Instead, focus on nurturing relationships that infuse positivity and growth into your life. Sometimes this might necessitate the tough decision to distance yourself from these friendships, especially if their toxicity becomes a threat to your well-being. In the modern world, where our social circles significantly influence our mental health, surrounding ourselves with positivity is not merely a preference, but a necessity. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This wisdom resonates profoundly in our quest for fulfilling relationships. Cultivating friendships that are wellsprings of joy, inspiration, and mutual growth is crucial for a healthy and satisfying social life. In doing so, we not only protect our mental health, but also align our social experiences with the serene and resilient spirit of Stoicism. Embracing the present with a heart full of joy and a mind free from the shadows of negativity. 6. The Unwarranted Competitor In our journey through life, we often cross paths with a variety of friends, some of whom bring light, and others, shadows. Today, let's talk about a particularly shadowy figure, the unwarranted competitor. Picture this. A friend who seems like an ally. Yet beneath their smile lies a burning desire to outshine you at every turn. Unlike the emotional gaslighter, whose aim is to skew your reality, this friend's goal is to assert their superiority, turning your achievements into their battleground. Imagine sharing your success only to have it overshadowed by their relentless need to do better, to be better. This isn't the mark of a true friend, who would celebrate your victories without a hint of jealousy. Instead, you're left feeling inadequate as if you're in a constant race. Healthy friendships should be about shared joys, 
not endless competition. Dealing with such friends requires tact. It's vital to express how their behavior impacts you and to set boundaries for mutual respect. If the competitive spirit doesn't wane, it might be time to rethink the friendship. Surround yourself with those who uplift you, not those who see your successes as a threat to their ego. Consider the story of Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, who taught that external events are beyond our control, but we can control our responses. He would likely advise us to focus on our own path, not to be swayed or diminished by others' competitive urges. In the face of rivalry, remember Epictetus's words, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. In conclusion, cherish friendships that bring light and growth, not those that cast shadows of rivalry and inadequacy. Let's strive to be the kind of friend who celebrates others' successes, embodying the stoic principle of focusing on what we can control, our actions and responses. Remember, true friendship is about lifting each other up not engaging in a relentless race for superiority. 7. The Boundary Invader This person stands apart from the overtly competitive or manipulative friends in our lives. They are marked by a blatant disregard for our personal space and emotional boundaries, pushing us into uncomfortable situations without a second thought for our feelings. This isn't just a minor overstep. It's a consistent and deliberate intrusion into our personal lives. To identify a boundary invader, watch for a pattern of disrespect towards your clearly stated limits. They might bring up topics you find uncomfortable or impose on your personal, time uninvited. Their actions, which might seem thoughtless at first, actually point to a deeper indifference towards your independence and comfort. True friends respect and understand your boundaries, but boundary invaders see them as mere hurdles to be overcome. Dealing with them requires a firm and ongoing defense of your personal space. This might mean being more direct in your communication, openly expressing your discomfort and setting clear consequences for overstepping your boundaries. Unlike handling a gaslighter, where subtlety and seeking external validation might be necessary, dealing with a boundary invader often requires straightforward and clear conversations about respecting your personal limits. The emotional toll of having your boundaries repeatedly ignored can lead to frustration and a deep sense of violation. It's not just about discomfort and isolated incidents. It's about the overall impact on your sense of self and independence. Thus, it's crucial to surround yourself with friends who respect and honor your boundaries. If a boundary invader continues to disrespect your limits, distancing yourself from them becomes not just a choice, but a necessity for your mental health. Maintaining your boundaries is an act of self-respect and a vital step in building a circle of friends who value and respect you fully. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This quote underscores the importance of understanding and respecting others' boundaries, a lesson that is crucial when dealing with boundary invaders. By actively listening and respecting each other's limits, we foster healthier and more fulfilling relationships. Corsier, the lazy person. In the journey of life, especially for men between the ages of 30 and 65 who are continuously learning and growing, it's crucial to be mindful of the company we keep. Consider the archetype of the lazy person. This individual seems to drift through life with a disheartening lack of ambition not caring for personal growth or achievement. Their indifference towards life isn't just a personal choice. It's a contagious mindset that can seep into your own perspectives, subtly undermining your drive and aspirations. As Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, wisely said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This quote reminds us that overcoming the inertia represented by such individuals is not just necessary, but can be a powerful catalyst for our own progress. In today's fast-paced world, where self-improvement and proactive living are paramount, associating with those who embody lethargy and apathy can be a significant setback. It's not about harsh judgment, but about recognizing the subtle influence of those around us. By consciously choosing to distance ourselves from the lackadaisical attitudes of the lazy, 
we open up more space for action, for pursuing meaningful goals, and for surrounding ourselves with people who inspire and motivate. This doesn't mean abandoning friends in need, but rather understanding the impact of prolonged exposure to demotivating attitudes on our personal growth. The advice here is clear. Prioritize relationships that encourage and mirror the kind of active, purposeful life you aspire to lead. In doing so, you not only enhance your own life's journey, but also set a positive example for others who might be struggling with their own inertia. 9. The Constant Disappointment All right, let's dive into the world of toxic friendships, specifically focusing on what I like to call the constant disappointment. Imagine this. You're surrounded by people who seem oblivious to your feelings. They're the ones who don't value you, making you squirm with their thoughtless actions. It's like they have a knack for hurting you. And what's worse, they don't even show a hint of remorse. It's a tough spot to be in, isn't it? Seneca, a renowned Stoic, once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This wisdom speaks volumes about our relationships. If you're constantly disappointed by someone, you're living in a cycle of hope and despair, always waiting for them to change. But here's the thing. True contentment comes from living in the present, not in the shadow of someone's neglect. So what's the lesson here? It's about recognizing the value of your own peace and happiness. If someone consistently lets you down, it might be time to re-evaluate their place in your life. It's not about holding grudges. It's about understanding your worth and seeking out those who respect and cherish you. Remember, you deserve to be around people who make you feel valued, not diminished. In conclusion, my advice to you is simple, yet profound. Cherish those who treat you well, and be wary of those who don't. Life is too short to be spent in the company of the constant disappointment. Embrace the present, value yourself, and surround yourself with positivity. That's the key to a happier, more fulfilling life. Tend the self-centered individual. Picture this. A person who believes the world revolves around them. They are the sun, and everyone else merely orbits their brilliance. Their arrogance is palpable, and their self, absorption, knows no bounds. In their eyes, their needs, desires, and interests eclipse everything else. Now let's pause and reflect on a powerful quote by Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who once said, We have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This quote starkly contrasts with our self-centered individual, who often forgets the art of listening, so engrossed are they in their own narrative. These individuals, my friends, are like mirages in the desert of life. They appear promising but upon closer inspection offer no sustenance. Their reliability is a myth as their focus remains steadfastly on their own gain. In your stoic journey, it's crucial to recognize such personalities. They are the ones who, in a room full of voices, only hear their own echo. They are the ones who, in a sea of needs, see only their own. As stoics, we strive for balance and harmony, understanding that the world is an interconnected web where one's actions affect others. The self, centered individual, disrupts this balance, placing their desires at the forefront, often at the expense of others. It's a path that leads to isolation and emptiness, for true fulfillment comes from understanding and supporting one another. So, as you navigate through the complexities of relationships, remember to steer clear of those who see themselves as the epicenter of existence. Instead, seek out those who understand the value of empathy connection and the beautiful art of listening, the true marks of a rich and fulfilling life. A trustworthy person is like a compass navigating the vast sea, providing clear direction and never losing their way. Being with such a person, one's heart will always be at peace and reassured. If you find a word that encompasses all expectations of beauty, it surely must be trustworthy. Trust and reliability are inseparable parts of any relationship. If you are wondering how to know if someone is trustworthy, consider these three characteristics to find the answer. 1. Trustworthy people are always serious, cautious, and principled. It's not hard to spot a trustworthy person 
as you can tell by the way they speak. A trustworthy person does not speak pretentiously or boast about themselves. They know how to be humble and modest. Importantly, they never forget to encourage others' efforts and appreciate the endeavors of others, rather than belittling them. Humble people are often calm, not hasty, and rely on their abilities to improve. Therefore, you should definitely stay away from those who like to show off. Initially, they may seem competent and talented, but later, you realize they are just deceitful. Furthermore, principles are established to ensure the common interest of all involved in the healthy operation of relationships. Principled people usually know how to respect others and understand the limits of what is right and wrong. Those who work without principles often cause chaos, complexity, and uncontrollability. They might resort to any means to get what they want without hesitating to harm others. Therefore, only those who adhere to principles can be relied upon. In today's fast-paced and, and high-pressure life, meticulous and serious, people are becoming rare. The struggle for survival has become an excuse for many to lose themselves. However, when you think seriously, try your best, and are not superficial. Others will see you as trustworthy and life will become better. 2. A trustworthy person has good character. A person must have good character as their foundation to be trusted. Ancient teachings say that morality can compensate for a lack of intelligence, but intelligence without morality is worthless. As Chairman Ho taught, talent without virtue is useless, virtue without talent makes everything difficult. Good character is seen as a life pass, and only with good character can there be mutual trust between people. Moreover, a person with good character is definitely sincere and trustworthy. Therefore, to know if someone is trustworthy, and you can be at ease when associating with them. Just see if their character is good. Being smart and strong is not as good as being kind. Trustworthy people will not make you wary of everything and be cautious in all matters. They understand the principle, the affairs of the world are decided by people, and the world is infinite. Being with such people will always make you feel comfortable and at ease. 3. Trustworthy people do not break promises and dare to take responsibility for their actions. To know if someone is trustworthy, just see how they deal with difficulties and hardships. Responsible people, even in adversity, will not hide and will proactively take responsibility and work hard. The spirit of responsibility is always upheld by these people. When they are responsible, they will do their best from start to finish. Responsible people are compared to mountains always making others feel safe to rely on. Those who only complain or blame others who do not dare to take on responsibilities when problems arise cannot be trusted. When everything is calm, they may be happy beside you, enjoying life. But when difficulties arise to avoid affecting their personal interests, they are ready to turn their backs and abandon others, unlike the noble and courageous who dare to face challenges. Only those who dare to take responsibility in adversity are worthy of sharing hardships. Additionally, surely each of us has been in this situation. You plan a vacation with a friend, but on the day, they say they are busy and can't go. When working with colleagues, initially they agree and promise everything but then act as if nothing happened. Your roommate promises to go shopping with you at the weekend, but then they just sleep all day, and the plan falls through. In many cases, the most important criterion to judge whether a person is trustworthy is integrity. Occasionally, if you are enthusiastic, what others say casually, in the hearts of some people, it becomes a promise. And saying one thing and doing another is the reality for many people. There's a saying, a gentleman's word is his bond. A trustworthy person is responsible for what they have said and done in the past cares about the feelings of others, and does not casually break promises. It is evident that the value of honesty gives you a vast network of resources and unexpected opportunities. Precisely, if you treat everyone sincerely, they will respond with sincerity. Only by doing what you say can you win people's hearts. Failing to do so only leads to disappointment. Therefore, the more trustworthy you are, the luckier you become. Warren Buffett once said, Trust is a quality more important than intelligence. Trustworthy people may not be rich, 
but they have integrity. They may not be famous, but they have principles. They may not be smart, but they have a sincere heart. They know how to explain everything, take responsibility for everything, and dare to start and end well. Trustworthy, like a tree, stands firm despite the storm. Life is a vast sea, and on the path ahead, I hope everyone can meet trustworthy people to entrust their gold without regret. And you yourself will become a trustworthy person, striving to make ordinary people live extraordinary lives.